Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I have another guide for you. It is a guide to the town of Volaki. Now, the town is ruled by the Baron Vargas Volakovich, and I have some things to cover, some additions to this town to make it a bit better. Now, Volaki is a big town, and, you know, this is where a lot of things go down. You know, there's some good stuff to do. But there's only a general store and a toy store. That's a bit silly. So I've added the addition of a weaponsmith and a metalsmith. Now the weaponsmith will make weapons for you, of course. And the metalsmith will put iron and silver on them. Preferably silver, since, you know, there's a lot of werewolves outside. These two make a lot of money. And the weaponsmith is the second famous second most famous business in Vallaki with the metalsmith and third oh what's number one I like to think that the coffin maker is number one <laughs> um yeah so the weaponsmith um my yeah um his prices are a bit higher he knows that people want them, and he is also a spy for Strahd, since Strahd can't invade Velaki because of the Bones of St. Andrew. Um, speaking of businesses, we have Blinky's Toys. Um, there's a 15% chance that the toys are cursed and will jump at the players whenever they enter. Um, we're also going to add Isaac, telling Blinksy why he wants toys that look like Irina. He says that he has dreams of this woman, and um, he kind of describes her, and she's awfully familiar to Irina. But once he notices the players are in, he'll just walk out without saying anything to the toy maker. Um, as for the Baron's Mansion, leave it be. It's pretty good. Just, just nothing wrong with it. It's good enough. Just leave it be. If you homebrew it in any way, it'll be kind of ruined, especially like Castle Ravenloft. The orphanage, though, is taken over by a werewolf that was kicked out from the wolf's den, who wants to start his own, you know, kind of group. Um, he's wanting to start off at the orphanage and eventually take over all of Velaki. Now, why start off at the orphanage? Well, he says that if he wants to take off over Velaki, he needs food to keep him fed. Um, there's, we're also going to add a magic store that's ran by a witch doctor, and he has a 10% chance of selling you cursed items, and once the characters have cursed items, they'll have disadvantage on everything they do. Now, the Vallaki voices, I like to think of them as civilized people, and, um, we're going to give them an English accent, and it's like, really, man, it's, that's really overdone in D&D. &D. Too many people give their characters an English accent. I understand that, but it's a very sophisticated language. Language? It's a very sophisticated accent that we're going to give the characters. Now, the common one sounds like this. Madam Wicta sounds like this. And Baron Vargas Velokovich of Volaki sounds like this. <laughs> um, now, uh, that is all I have. Pretty short guide. I think it's helpful. Um, again, Volaki is pretty good. Um, so, yeah. See you later, and in my next video, we have a guide to Castle Ravenloft.